Hello, welcome to video number four in your songwriting journey. This one is all about rhythm. So what is rhythm? One way of looking at it is that it's a pattern or arrangement of sounds that has stresses or accents and repeats and loops round. It can be a drum beat on your lap, or it can be hitting the chords or notes that you're playing in a certain pattern. So what does it mean to your song? Rhythm can help set the tone, invite the listener in, and it builds a bit of a platform on which to tell your song's story. It's another tool alongside song structure, chords, lyrics and melody that you can use to make your song unique. The magic spark of a song arguably appears somewhere in amongst chords and melody and rhythm. When exploring these things, it can all fall into place as a kind of instant spark where you can explore in different directions until you hit upon something that appeals to you. It may be when you find a rhythmical way of playing the chords that you like, or it may be when you play your chords along to a rhythm or beat that everything just falls into place. Or the rhythm can come when you look at your lyrics, and listen to your chords and decide on the melody that you want to sing the words to. In many cases, rhythm often just sort of happens. So we won't say too much on our rhythm in this video. We'll leave that a bit open for when the melody gets ready. You've maybe already started kind of naturally using a rhythm in your chords. Just like Andrew did in the last video, he kind of found a rhythm that he liked and he felt suited the chords that he was playing. So you can use this rhythm that he used or you can change it slightly to your own taste or come up with one entirely of your own. Maybe think about what rhythm suits the song's atmosphere, or the message, or the mood. Or you can look at some of your favourite songs for inspiration. Alternatively, you can get a drum beat going and find the rhythm that way. GarageBand's great for this, as you let the app kind of randomly come up with a beat for you in different styles, or you use some of their simple tools to get one going yourself. Or else you can also map out a quick and simple drum beat on the Chrome Music Labs or some of the other websites mentioned below. One last thing to consider is how you can use rhythm to make the different sections in your song structure jump out, your, your verse and your chorus and so on. Um, one way to do this, using the chords that Andrew came up with in the last video is maybe to make, for example, your verse kind of mellow strumming or mellow kind of rhythm. And then when it gets to the chorus, maybe step it up. So that it creates a bit of a jump in intensity makes it feel like the chorus is a kind of bigger part of the song. Or alternatively, you might want to change the rhythm a bit when you get from one section into the next. Um, again, that can have that feeling of bringing something up or maybe bringing it back down a little bit. It's sometimes fun to do a kind of choppy, stoppy starty kind of rhythm. Um, that often works well in the chorus. So you can have something like your usual kind of verse rhythm that we've been doing so far, which when we get to the chorus kind of chops up. So these are all different things to think about when you're adding rhythm to your song. Don't overthink it. Um, the best rhythm is probably the one that comes naturally when you find the chords that you like. Something that just springs to mind, something that feels natural, something simple. Also, you might discover your rhythm when it comes to adding melody to the song. So you've got your chords, you've got your lyrics, you need to find a way to sing those lyrics and often that will dictate 
the kind of rhythm and overall mood of the song. Okay, have fun, good luck. Next video is on melody.